what were some of the reasons I wanted to come and live in the Philippines besides wanting a better life and to meet a nice Filipina etc etc what were some of the other factors watching the downward spiral of the United Kingdom which is now irreversible unless there is a revolution which there will never be because people are fundamentally cowards knowing there are fifth columnists everywhere in society in the governments in the institutions fifth columnists in brackets aka traitors the enemy within bringing down all Western civilization. Governments have always practiced something called problem reaction solution. Now a government might want to introduce a law which they know could never pass if they just tried to introduce it just like that. So they have to cause a problem, a distraction so they cause a problem and they wait for the masses, for the great unwashed to react and say, help us, help us from this problem that's happened. We're frightened. We're dumbed down sheep. Help us, please, government, because we know that you care for us. We love you, big brother. And then the government will come up with a solution to the problems they have caused. And it might work like this. Of course, we love you, we'll help you. But you're going to have to give up some of your liberties, some of your freedoms for security. If you're willing to do that, we can help. And of course, the majority of the dumbed down sheep will comply. Problem, reaction, solution. It was used by the Romans. It was used by the Germans with the Reichstag burning down. Problem, reaction, solution. Yes, Western governments are traitors and I suspect always have been. So long as their pockets are lined, they don't care about the populations they pretend, they profess to work for. Things will only get worse. Things can only get worse. <clears throat> Southeast Asia still has a good few years left, in my opinion. But unfortunately, the West is done for. Sky high prices for food, for heating, housing, which is non-existent in most Western countries because of the amount of immigration that's happening. The powers that be don't like you to call it immigration. It's migrants, they're not immigrants, they're economic migrants. They have dumbed down the education system until it's unrecognisable from the one I had as a child. For the better or for the worse, 
you decide. The idea has been and always has been for a one world government. In their eyes, that means there'll be no wars anymore because there'd be no countries. It'd be one world with a one world dictator government. They want to bring out digital currencies that will be based on the Chinese digital scoring system. So if all we have are digital currencies and you do something wrong, maybe you say something wrong on social media or you protest, they can downgrade your digital wallet. They can confiscate money from you because that's what digital currency will be, control. You see, cash, they can't control. If I give somebody $20 for doing something, I don't have to pay tax. It's a private exchange. The same with gold, precious metals. The same with crypto, predominantly Bitcoin. But if you use your debit card or a credit card, then there's a paper trail. They can see what you've been doing with your money. They don't want paper trails. Sorry, they don't want a cash-based society any longer. Because they can't control you. Now, do the governments run the world? No, they are puppets for something else. Phil, this is all conspiracy. Hmm, I wonder, I do wonder if it's all a conspiracy. Why has your quality of life where you live gone down? Why is it not as good as it was in the 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, and to some degree the 1990s? Tell me that. Why have your populations expanded? Why has crime risen? Why are the police ineffectual? Why does nobody listen to the people? Not that they ever really did, but they don't pretend to listen any longer. They're laughing in your faces. Look at the quality of some of the politicians that exist now. Look at their intellect. They're, most of them are borderline learning disabilities. But these are the people in charge. These are the people with their finger on the nuclear bombs. How does anything change? I don't have all the answers. I don't know that anybody else does. To me, revolution can be the only change at one time I used to think a coup d'etat by the army, but I realised they've been taken as well. Or a lot of them. The ones in command have been taken by the fifth columnists. A revolution. Now when revolutions happen, they're really just an excuse to kick out the old and bring in the new and the same old Tyranny will continue in the end. Thomas Jefferson, 
famously quoted. He was a president of America a long, long time ago. When the government fear the people, you have liberty. When the people fear the government, you have tyranny. And that's what we're now living through. Choose your life wisely, my friends. If you can come to a place like the Philippines and live, and you have the financial means to do it, do it. Have a better life here. Meet a Filipina and be happy. Have a family here. Don't take them back home, for it will get worse. It can only get worse. The family of the 300 control the world. And above them, there are others. This plan of a one world order has been in the works for decades upon decades upon decades upon decades upon decades. This is nothing new. This hasn't been thought about since the internet came or since the end of the Second World War. This has been in the works for a very, very long time. And they play the long game as they march through the institutions and take them over. as they eradicate the world we once knew, the world we once cherished. Remember, when the government fears the people, the people have liberty. When the people fear the government, the people are living through tyranny, that's all.